In this tutorial, we're going to create an artwork something like this one. And let's get started. Open Photoshop, create a new file, size 1080 by 1080, and press create. Let's work on the first image. You can find the link for the source of the file in in the description below. And open it in Photoshop, put it down, and then I press shift here to make the streets a little bit like that. And then now let's remove this sky by using quick selection tool and select the sky. And let's zoom a bit here. I need to press shift there to to add the selection. And, and after that, you need to remove this by going here, layer mask here, but press Alt to delete that. And there's now a little tiny black lines. Select the mask, and then to remove that, you need to select it first and here. And make sure this color is black here. Yep. And press Control Delete. And you remove that tiny black lines. Done. Next, let's add the sky, which also I got from Pexels, and put it below the street picture. And then place it around here. Now we need to adjust the exposure and the tone of this street. Uh, it needs to be a little bit darker. Let's go use adjustment layer curves and make sure it is clip. I'm sorry this is wrong actually it goes here and clip that and now drag the curves down. Now this is a little bit reddish we need to desaturate it a bit. Let's use hue and saturation. Yep and make it clip and pull down the saturation slider maybe a little bit hue change and more the saturation now I'd like to uh, recolor this road lines to do that simply go to this layer and then use polygonal lasso tool and select only the the road lines and after that go to select color range and select the white lines here so you got this selection the road line is selected and press OK ok the road line selected now simply press ctrl C to copy and ctrl shift and V to paste in the same place but the layer now needs to be on the top of everything and this Disable the clipping by pressing the Alt and let's rename it Road Lines. Now I need to re recolor this. Let's use Hue Saturation Clipping and press Colorize Lightness down, Saturation up, and change the hue. You can change to any other color, but now I like to use this yellow color. Now let's make this road lines close or lighten up. Simply duplicate this to layer. And I think I don't need any hue saturation filter, so simply select both and press Ctrl E to merge them. And rename it uh, light or maybe glow. Yep. Okay, to make it close, uh, simply Go to filter and go to blur, Gaussian blur, and now you start. You start lighting up the uh, road lines, radius around here. Press OK and change to screen. Now I'd like to add more effects on this light, so let's create a new layer. Press here and name it light. Change the blending mode to screen, and grab brush tool and color yeah something like this yellow press ok and paint it over here to make the light a little bit more intense 
Okay, it's pretty cool. And now let's add a little bit yellowish on this street texture. So to do that, create another layer. I will call it ambience. The blending mode will be overlay. And use brush again. The color is nearly the same, I guess. Now let's do it bigger size. And the opacity maybe a little bit down to 20 or something. And paint it around here. So as you can see, now the street is a bit lightened up. I'd like to make a little bit core of light here. It's like there's a, some center of light. Let's create another layer. Core of light. Yeah, whatever. The mode will be color. I'm a linear dodge. Let's try. Brush again. Color will be a bit bright pale yellow or something and the opacity is a bit up to 50 the size will be much smaller because this is the core of the light it has to be much smaller and let's try it yeah this is as simple as that now I'd like to make uh, one more effects like ray of light coming on from this road lines so to do that we need to select from this layer I think I need to merge this too. Press Ctrl E, so you merge that, and then select only this part by using rectangle or whatever you want, and press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl Shift V to paste in the place. Yeah. Now I need to make effects out from it. To do that, go to Filter, use Motion Blur, and yeah, this is what I mean. Let's press OK. And now I don't need this part, so you just need to delete that. Use uh, Rectangle America tool. Because I only need the light coming from the center. So just delete that. Oh, I forgot to rename this. I like to make it Ray of Light. And I like to make it more spread, not straight up like this one. So to do that, Control T, press Control T, and then now. Control Shift Alt and drag the corner point to the side, and you got that. It's quite nice. And to make the light a little bit more stronger, let's duplicate that layer. There you have it, and change the blending mode to screen. This to screen. Now let's add a deer into this artwork, like I did here. And I'm going to use an image from Pixabay. You can find link to this image in the description below. You can check that out. Now I need to remove this. You can use eraser, lasso, pen tool, or any tool you want just to remove this. I'm going to use lasso anyway. Okay, now let's bring it up to our main document. Oh, it's pretty big. Let's put it on the top. And Control T to scale down. And put it in the desired position. I'd like to put it here and make it bigger. Okay, name it deer. Now I'd like to edit the lights on the deer. So let's make it darker. Let's go using uh, exposure, make sure it's clip and slide down the sliders around here. Okay, because the light is coming out from here, so the deer must have lit by those light on this side so let's edit that make sure you click on the layer mask and now grab brush tool the color is black and let's paint it over here
this is pain like this one doesn't matter if it hits too much you can erase that later now just paint on the area where the light falls on the surface maybe here too maybe here a bit yeah and then you can erase the part that you don't want where the light hits the surface and then simply press X to switch this so you can simply press X to alternatively switch the color and paint it and press X again if you want to use the black okay now let's give a tone on this deer because this is just a light to add a tone let's use hue saturation yeah the position is here and then hit colorize hit the colorize and then saturation up now you see the light effects is coming out and yeah it's like before so the, the light must only hit this part so you can use this mask so press alt duplicate that into here but now you need to invert it select this mask and control i and there you have it you have the lights effect all right if you're not satisfied with the effects you can simply edit this mask or this value of the layer you can change the lightness for example here or the saturation of light or even the light itself the color of the light or exposure can also be done like here yeah you can edit that and maybe I'm, I want to edit this bit I want to have more lights here Now I'd like to add a little bit tone of blue, like this landscape background here on the deer, on the deer. So I'm going to use photo filter and use the cooling filter. I don't know which one, maybe this one. Yeah, drag a little bit here. Yeah, I think it's pretty okay. And I think the same applies to the street here because I think it's a bit mismatch between the street and the landscape on the on the back of it so I'm going to use a photo filter too or maybe just press alt here and drag it down there and adjust the density yeah I think it's better now maybe the curves too give a little bit more blue and the red is down yeah now it's it's more match to the landscape on the back of it now let's create the shadow for the deer select this deer and press control on this new layer and rename it as shadow the blending mode will be multiply and grab brush tool the layer i mean the color is black the opacity around here and size maybe smaller yeah and then make it oval because the perspective of this image and let's paint it yeah something like that now it looks like an ugly shadow we can delete some part at the end of the side here so let's make a layer mask and make a bigger brush the opacity now gets smaller and let's paint it let's add some fireflies around the deer let's create a new layer limit fireflies grab brush tool 
the color maybe pick from this light or a bit brighter a bit and hit F5 to enter advanced brush settings and go to shape dynamics size jitter goes up scattering goes up and brush tip shape the size is small six or seven and then spacing goes up now let's paint over went around here yeah I also like to add some fireflies behind the deer so let's duplicate this press alt and drag down around here and you can just place it around here or you can add another yeah I think it's pretty cool now I'd like to make a camera blur effects but I don't want to the deer gets blurred so just hide it now and now press Control shift alt e and rename is merge right click and convert it into smart object now let's go to filter blur gallery tilt shift and drag down the focus around here yeah i think that's that's it and setting of the bokeh you can also change and you can find you can get bokeh from that fire flask before which is cool and you can also adjust a little bit of this light press ok if you are satisfied and let's see and put the deer back now for the final part, let's adjust the the overall tone of this artwork. So let's merge one more time. This time on the top of the layer, press Shift, Alt and E again. Let's rename it or name it Tone and turn it into Smart Object. Now you can change the overall tone of this artwork by going to Filter, Camera, Row Filter and make a tone line, something like this or whatever you want actually And I'd like to change the saturation of this light a bit. I want to make it a little bit more pop. And hue of this yellow. Yes, that's it. This is pretty personal. You can use any color that you like actually. There's no fixed things here. So you can adjust any setting you want until you are satisfied. You can change the whole property here. Well, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. And see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you and bye bye.